Harun Yahya. You are saying Shahadat, and I am saying Shahadat. If you're calling me a Munafik, and you are not, you still have to say that I'm your brother. The one who's not calling the Shahadat cannot say that he's your brother. If you are Munafik, and I am not, if you are calling me a Munafik, I'm saying Astaghfirullah Ya Rabbi. If I am Munafik, in their eyes, clean me. I'm a weak servant, but I'm not bowing down what you are saying. You're trying to change the direction of Islam. You're trying to change what they did 100 years ago, step by step, now they're using you. With your knowledge knowing or without knowing, they are using you to show Islamic world the way that you're wearing, the way that you're dressing, the way that lifestyle that you are living, it is Islam. It's not Islam. If you're going to do that, do it in your private yard. Don't put confusion into Islam. Don't attack those people that they are holding tightly to the Holy Prophet wasalam, and the Sahabi Kiram and to all the Evliya, and especially holding tightly to Shaykh Mulan Hassan. Uh, calling me a CIA agent, not knowing me, not talking to me, never sitting with me anywhere, and me knowing that I am not, then I can call you Munafiq. So, say Astaghfirullah. Not one, not thousand, not even one proof you can come out. Not with a fake one. Your fake one proof is going to be show television. It's going to be a secular government. So wake up to yourself, oh you and me and everyone. The world is changing. Yes, Hazreti Mehdi is living. Yes, Hazreti Mehdi is going to change. Yes, the safety is going to reach to those people that today they are calling themselves Christians and Jews and Muslims and unbelievers that their heart is running for the truth. And as soon as they see the truth, they're going to accept. Isa a.s. is coming back down, definitely. He didn't. You are saying he is living on the earth. He didn't come back to earth yet. When he is coming to earth, before he is coming to earth, Mehdi a.s. is going to come. Before Mehdi a.s. is coming, Halife is going to come. Hilafet is going to be established. And Mehdi is coming to take away, take it from the Halife, the Prophet's belongings. Then Dajjal is going to appear. Yes. Mehdi is going to declare and Dajjal is going to appear. Mehdi is not living in Istanbul right now. He's going to come to Istanbul. There is five stations that he's going to stop. You don't know any one of them. If you do, you will speak about it. You don't know anything about it. You and those that they think they know so much and they talk about Mehdi coming out with you. They were wearing turban. They know nothing about Mehdi a.s. Yes, Sheikh Mevlana Muhammad Nazim al-Hakkani, he is the one knows. And he himself is saying, they are asking him, is Mehdi is in Istanbul? He's saying, in Istanbul? He said, not even Evliya stays in Istanbul now. He says, there's only seven hidden Evliya. They are living in Istanbul for protection, for keeping the belongings of the Prophet and keeping the holy sites. Other than that, there is no Evliya in Istanbul. No Mehdi is in Istanbul. And you are saying, Mehdi is in Istanbul. So you are saying you love Sheikh Mevlana, but you're talking against to him. Sheikh Mevlana saying new Ottomans are coming. Then you say there will be new, no new Ottomans. It will be Turkish Islam. That's what you're saying. There will be no Turkish Islam. There will be no Arab Islam. There will be no Pakistani Islam. There will, ne there will be no Tebli Jamaat. There will be no Wahhabi. There will be no Shiite. There will be Islam. It's always been Islam. There will be no ilimli Islam. 
Islam is always moderate. Islam is always high. Islam brought peace to a mankind. Islam brought borderlines to a man to learn how to live. Not to attack each other's rights. Islam learn, teach people to know where their limits is end. Your limit doesn't end where you, you can bring your hands much as wider you are. You cannot. You're sleeping over there. Yes. Your Islam is not your hands reaching all the way to the end like this. No. Islam teaches you if a person sitting right next to you, you cannot put your hand that much. Your limit stays right over there now. You cannot move to the other side. That's where it ends. Yes, Islam teaches you your limits and my limits. Islam teaches the simple man to the top, to the king. Islam is the way to live. Islam is the lifestyle. All other ways, it's wrong. And from that time, the Samiri rise against to Musa a.s. When Samiri is rise, that is the time that the Zionism begins. The extreme nationalist Yahudis, they are looking to complete other ones, even their own people down. When they say we are religious ones, that we believing, they are looking down to those ones. And you are hanging around with those ones. Under the name of thinking that you're going to bring peace. I don't believe that, that what you're saying there. If you don't know, don't interfere. You want to make tabli, go to the people of bar here and there, do it there. Don't interfere. And you have no business. It's another big sickness, and that is a game that you're playing. Since when? 1400 years now. Does Muslims, they are believing in any way that we're coming from Darwinism? 1400 years. Does Muslims, they are believing that they're coming from monkey? Why are you preaching this to Islam, to Muslims? Go preach those ones that they are not believing. You are preaching that in, in Turkey, to Muslims. In Turkey, yes, there is Turks who believes. And they are senators. Go speak to them. Why are you speaking to Muslim people? In one, one, Turkey, one city, there was an earthquake. And all those people in that one, they are Muslims. They are good believers. It's an earthquake. You have to send blanket. You have to send food. You have to send other things. You didn't. What did you send? Books. Teaching Darwinism. Saying there is no Darwinism existing. Those people, they're not believing on that. Why are you sending books to them? Oh, you want to bring confusion to them. For them to think, oh, nice books. Very valuable books. Oh, is there such a thing? Maybe. Because they are new generation. They are children. They have sent them to school. And they put that poison into their heart. So now the new generation, they are fighting with the old generation, saying, you are backward at one. We are not believing. That they, we got to do as we like. We got to live as we like. So you're bringing that poison to those people there too. Harun, yeah, yeah. You don't need to bring that to Islam. There was a man, there was a man that who worked very hard, he became saint. And one day, he was talking to a normal person, he think, and he was saying to him, you know, I will bring 1,000 proof to those people who's not believing in Allah, that Allah is existing, that he is only one. I will bring 1,000 proof. That one looked at him and saying to him, you are talking to me, I am Muslim. He says, you don't need to bring 1,000. He says, if you need it and you search 1,000 proof, that means you had 1,000 doubt about Allah. You have thousands of doubt. Wake up hiding behind or front or hugging around or saying, these are sheikhs, I love them. Find one sheikh, 
and go submit yourself to that one, say, I want to become murid first. The Mahdi, <laughs> Mahdi has to have Sheikh. But if the Mahdi is not going to have Sheikh, you are not a Mahdi. So go find a Sheikh. Isn't it? Go find a Sheikh. And the best Sheikh is that one that you love. Shah Mawlana Muhammad Nazim al Hakkani. Go to him or say, make announcements, say, now on, I am his murid. And I'm going to talk to you completely different. I am also his murid, but I am also his halifa. I don't care what you or other says. I am also his halifa. And I will speak to you again. Make announcements, say, Shah Mawlana is also my sheikh. And look what I will say to you that time. This is nothing. <laughs> Salam alaikum, rahmatullah, barakatuh to everyone. We have to speak about this tonight because that one is being poisoned and is poisoning. I didn't touch him. He touched me. You all know. I didn't say nothing about him. He attacked us, not me. He attacked the people that is surrounding me. Holy Prophet saying, alayhi wasalam, don't talk bad or good about somebody that you don't know. Unless you sit with that person.